YouTube.com slash Tim Westwood TV. Hey, what's up? It's Todd Scampino, and you're with Tim Westwood right here on Capital Extra. Let's talk about here. Because yeah. I haven't been here in a minute. Now, why, so, minute. Why, why the pause? What happened? I just took some time off. I Did went to like... I oh, well, we just had to take some time off. Just to chill? Yeah, I and mean, we're not even just to chill. Just like, I didn't even really know. I still don't know what I'm doing. I don't know anything to like, I mean, like, I just wanted to get, understand like what I was doing a little bit so I could have more fun doing it. Because right. I don't think I was. So what, you, you, do you think you just got caught up in the grind last time? Yeah, a little bit. Um, mm. I got caught up in just, uh, I mean, I had a lot of fun every, in touring and stuff like that. But I just feel like last year was just like a little crazy. So I, I was, me and my friends rented a house. It was Chris Bosch's mansion. Mm. I shouted him out before. And uh, and we stayed there and we all lived there. And then we just ate s'mores and like made songs and stuff like that. Actually, yeah. Now, was Chris Bosch there? Or? He wasn't. I don't think he's ever stayed in that house. So it's just like a crib of his. It's just like a crib of his. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just like a house that he had. And then we stayed in there. And is it one of his type of houses? Or do you think it was like a rental investment? I think he definitely bought it as like an investment, as like opposed as, a, to, as opposed to like being like, oh, I want to live here. I think he just had it as an investment. You don't think he wanted to put some shorty in there and just use it as a booty call? As a booty call house? Mm. That's a lot to spend on a booty call house. <sighs> Chris Bosch, man. I mean, Heat. it is. I mean, I'm not saying he doesn't have a lot of money, but I'm just saying it's like if you, that's like that's like buying like a banquet hall to eat McDonald's. Like it's like why would you? Do why that? would you do that? Yeah, yeah. especially. As you're eating a Big Mac, yeah. Mickey D's. Yes. So you'd probably, I would just probably get a place in the projects for shorty. Yeah, or just exactly. Like a, a hotel. hotel. Yeah, yeah. You hour. can get a, you can get a really nice hotel for a night, <laughs> for an hour, and then for an hour. <laughs> exactly. I, mean, I don't know if you can get a really nice hotel <laughs> for, for an, an hour. hour. No, no, no. Yeah, it'd be hard. But, mm. but I would still go for the hour option. Yeah, I would even like that. Yeah, even if I played for the heat. You, you do you want to start? We could start a hotel chain that is like high end classy hotel chains but by the hour like by the for hour. like for your mistress but if you really like oh it's our an it's our mistress anniversary <laughs> exactly like let's go to a really nice place for an hour for an hour yeah or I in my case maybe 10 minutes maybe do a maybe. 10 minute special 10 minutes <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no one really goes over 10 minutes anymore let's be honest only in the movies I only watch. in the movies mm. does it take like two hours mm. i don't know i don't think anybody wants two hours i sometimes dream about two hours <laughs> But I mean, I'm grateful for what I've got, mm -hmm. and that's a that's a ten uh, minutes. Ten uh, minutes is yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. So you took a year out uh, yeah. in Chris Bosch's L.A. mansion. Yes. Uh, balling in there. Yes. Uh, it, it, did you build a studio? Or was the studio in there? We we built a studio in, in there? there. Yeah, we just kind of made our own. I don't really like studios. They feel really constricting. Like, yes. I, just, I feel like I'm wasting money just being there. I think you are wasting money. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and I, yeah. and there's, there's no disrespect. That's old school. That's it's very old school. school. And a lot of a lot of artists still do that. Yeah. And they feel more comfortable there. Because I know a lot of art. Some artists came over and they didn't feel as comfortable. Like, I like just like running into a room and just like being like, I know where the stuff is and just playing around and. You know, yeah. yeah, and setting up as you want, as yeah. opposed to coming in, into somebody else's room, mm -hmm. and it's that old school thing of, and it is, it feels mad paper. It feels, it feels like, feels mad like paper. it feels very expensive, very like expensive. Second. Like even if you're just hanging around and playing, yeah. like I just remember, like you know, there's like the label people in there, in there. Like I, I was with somebody one time, and his label was there, and they were just like very much like, man, like this is money, like yeah. even because we were playing around, but we were playing around in the. Getting like the ideas out. Yeah, even in a writing room, it's mad right. paper. It's mad paper. Yeah, I mean those are very old school ideas for old school bands. Right. With old school sales. <laughs> now, uh, the album you've taken some time out. Is it yeah. is it more grown up? Do you feel? Do you feel it, it reflects the mature swagger? I feel so. I mean, like I feel like the first album was like a thirteen year old like kind of album. Like not it was for thirteen year olds, but also written. Mm. Like kind of like a thirteen year old, and it was very like <laughs> it was very anxiety. It was very like uh, angsty. Okay, you know, and like and I and I thought it was very indicative of like how I felt back then. Yeah, and then like this is more like uh, the second half of that. Like I always I always wanted to do three. I don't know if I will, but I always wanted to do three. Mm. And this would be like what happened after that kid. Okay, left. yeah. So what era? There's of a age. screenplay that comes with it. Yeah. There's a, yeah, I wrote a screenplay that goes with it. So like, there's you can you can see the character, 
like what's going on and actually mm. like, he kind of becomes something else so what is this is this 17 to 24 now i would say that like around i, th I think he might be actually be it's weird like i kind of play with time a lot yes like because i don't want it to be like constricting to yes. like being like oh this is, took place yes. in like this yeah. year just like that so i kind of I, I really do play with time i just want i just want people to know that he's older okay that's it i i mean you're kind of left to, to figure out how yes. old he is but like i feel like no matter what age you are you'll probably make it your age exactly so right, right. It, but yeah. it's applicable like i feel like everything that you go through like it's always applicable everything is just learning how to let go of stuff mm. So every every age is just learning how to let go, yeah. whether it's like your family or your friends or certain things like your life or like, oh, this dream I had isn't mine anymore. Just like kind of thing. So I, I felt like I didn't want to tell them what age. Hey, what's up? This is Childish Gambino and you're watching Tim Westwood TV. Check the channel. YouTube.com slash Tim Westwood TV.